Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer from New Belgium. It's part of the Voodoo Ranger series. You see that famous guy, Voodoo Ranger VR on the uh, suit he has. And this is Captain Dynamite, 7.7, uh, uh, double IPA. Uh, this is brewed out of the, presume, Asheville, North Carolina. It is Mosaic Simcoe Cascade. They were another take on New England IPA. One of my favorite producers of mass produced in IPA. The beer comes in a medium gold color, uh, full opaque, pretty nice looking beer. Like a spot on appearance. <laughs> this is Cam, by the way. Uh, let's see, 10, 11, 20. Wow, really? No way. There's no way. 10, 11, 25. So hard to read this. I know it's Best Buy June 6th. And we're in February. Oh, do, 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 do. I don't know how far they're going on their Best Buy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's so hard to read this thing. It's a 21011250. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if it's a brood. So who knows? But that's kind of like a little bit of mango aromatic. <sighs> Citrusy. It smells nice. Cheers. Not. Great. Yeah, probably not the freshest thing, but wow, they really do the spot on. Uh, cream mouthfeel, the really nice clean dry finish, and the nice kind of um, pale oat character in the middle. Very New England, right? Uh, super, oh my God. 7.7, 7, like you get in trouble with a fresh six pack of this. Up front, that's floral. I sense a little bit of the oxidation, just a nice solid hit of alcohol. Not very aromatic like the nose. It's mostly just like really great tasting, clean New England IPA, but like it lacks punch, which is like the whole point of drinking this now. Punches and fruitiness, uh, hop character. Um, it's got a good amount of like hoppiness to it, but like a little bit of candy, a little bit of like peach jelly ring kind of thing, but there's mostly drinkability on here with a really wonderful mouthfeel. Reminds me a little bit of the Southwood Salas beer, uh, just like full weedy, uh, oated uh, mouthfeel, really pale, really well executed, like to the spot on points of like New England IPA. But again, what you want is blasting aromatic, blasting hop notes, fruity, fruity. And so what you have here is all the drinkability, all the fluffy mouthfeel, all the creaminess, all that kind of like hef fights in like heft of a big beer. Like, I mean, man, it drinks so good, but it just doesn't, like, it's a little bit of orange thing, but like, yeah, it just lacks, like, full flavor. So, um, very good. Uh, the can here I have now gets a solid, I mean, get a really drinkable, delicious beer, but again, I want, like, world-class, I want something punchy. Excuse me. Uh, man, it's good, though. Mm. What are you supposed to do when it just, like, the whole point of the salad again is just, like, punchy aromatics so. But the drinkability's high, and that's crazy delicious. As I drink it more, I get a little bit of, like, mango coming in, but it just lacks, like, pure character. And, again, uh, I got on the warm shelf. Don't know how long it was sitting on the shelf for. Uh, it's cold in Florida, so that's good. Or was cold in Florida. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we had a couple months of nice cold weather, but uh, let's go back down to a... 88, 88, really delicious stuff. Like it really has signs of absolutely delicious beer. But again, without that, like you're losing multiple points. You're losing it. I argue this beer lose anywhere from five to eight points for that at least. Just like that's huge. That could put you in the A minus A, A plus range, arguably. So until next time, guys, cheers. This is 88. Cheers. Later. Let me know if you've had this one fresh. Um, it can be really good, I bet. Cheers. Later.